Hey, welcome to this radio channel and we continue with our multi-part series for beginners on shortwave radio. Uh, this is the part four. Knowing where to get your schedules and how to understand the language used in these same schedules. The first thing that you want to do if you want to listen to shortwave, of course you can tune around. Of course, you know now that the international broadcast bands where they are located on the shortwave spectrum. But it doesn't mean that you have actually listened to stations because you can tune around, not really knowing what you're tuning. But there are schedules on the internet that are updated regularly and give you a great idea of what's available, what you can listen to. Now, the first website I'm going to show you, I like it for the beginner because it has uh, some real cool advantage to uh, the usage of the shortwave schedules. It has the possibility, it's called primetime shortwave as you see here. It's updated regularly and it has one of the greatest things that you can check for is schedules that are sorted for your continent or your listening area. Why it's important? Because if you look at shortwave schedules, so let's take the general list, shortwave, shortwave schedules by time sort, you'll have this list of stations with frequencies. And, you know, if you don't know what you're listening to or how to listen, what's going to happen is you'll actually have tried probably tons and tons of these and say, well, I don't hear most of them and you don't understand why and the reason is these are the complete schedules of stations from everywhere in the world and by the way this list is English only later on in the video I'm going to show you another list much more complete but we're going to start with this one to understand a little bit more when you look at these stations you have first of all the universal time it's on the left side so here it says 0, 100 to 0, 030. That's universal time. So you got to know your universal time uh, where you live. The next information is NA. That means this is a transmitted targeted to North America. So if you live in North America, it means you could try for this one. It says country, Egypt. That's where the transmission is coming from. Station says Radio Cairo. And finally, frequencies. You have 9965. So it means that at 0 to 0 to 0 30, which is right now 8 to 8 30 p.m. In the winter time it changes because of the hour change. Um, you can listen if you live in North America to Egypt, Radio Cairo 9965. And you can try that. Next one. Say you tried India and you say, I didn't hear India on any of those frequencies. Well, if you live in North America, that might be normal because AS, this one says 00 to 045 to Asia. This means this is targeted to Asia, not to North America. That is the possibility why you didn't hear anything because it's not targeted to your area. Now, that said, propagation is a very, very interesting thing. It can let you listen to prop to some stations that sometimes aren't meant for your area. So it doesn't mean that you never try it. But it means the chances of you listening or hearing it are not as good as a targeted to your region. So if you live in Europe, uh, the first two won't necessarily be good for you. Then again, you might try it and say, hey, I hear it anyways. That is shortwave. Um, so for European listeners, for example, here you got 00 to 0100 EU for Europe. And you got China, then you got China Radio International. You, some stations have a lot of frequencies they use simultaneously. And that's because they want to be sure that you can hear them on at least one of the frequencies. And depending on the you know where you are located and so on, some frequencies are better than others. So that's what you got to learn using the schedules. Latin America, Europe, uh, America, 
Um, AM is more for Americas. Uh, OC, Oceania. Uh, you have uh, Africa for uh, AF. But what's cool on this website is that not only do you know that, and by the way, at the top here, you have all the little abbreviations and what they mean if you want to, to understand it a little more. But what's cool on this one is that if you live in North America, then you'll check for, okay, shortwave schedules to America. And this will give you only the list available to the Americas. Not only North America, some is Central and South America, but at least it makes the listening experience a little more interesting because chances are much better that you'll hear them on these frequencies. If you live in Europe, well, all you have to do is search for shortwave schedules for Europe. And here, all the transmissions to Europe are available on this list. So this is a nice little website to go to for English shortwave schedules. And I will be posting the links to these uh, sites on the description below the video. So primetimeshortwave.com, primetimeshortwave.com. Now, say you speak other languages and you want to learn a little more. Then you have the possibility to get another website, which is EIBI Space. This is a great, great website because this is a complete list of shortwave schedules, basically from everywhere to anywhere in any language and all sorts of transmissions, including utility stuff like weather stations and so on. You've got the sorted by time on the left and sorted by frequency on the right. Sorted by frequency is useful because you can go through and try to find what you're listening to on the frequency lists. Sorted by time on the left is complete transmissions, once again, in every type of language. This one's a little more complex to uh, understand. And by the way, when you're on the website, you have um, a little, just below it here, readme text, conditions of use, language, and transmitter codes. This is a little more complex to understand. So look, let's look at an example here. So say I take 00 to 030 here. It says CUB. This means crumbs, it comes from Cuba. Here we use abbreviations for the country. Radio Habana Cuba. Then you have CR, which is the language. Now, I'm not sure what CR is, even myself, so it depends on the languages. Some are easier to understand than others. For example, uh, E is for English, uh, F for French, um, and so on. But some are not as easy to comprehend. Some are very local languages, basically. CAM means this is the target for Central America. and Then you get the frequency and a letter. The letter... Don't try to find it on your radio. This is not something you enter. You enter 5040. The letter is simply there to tell you from where the transmission comes from. Because a lot of countries transmit from other areas. Say China Radio International. If we check for China Radio International in this list for their two-hour broadcasts, you'll see a little something here that I want to show you. You'll have uh, China Radio. China Radio, I believe they should be there from 0 to 0 to. Um, if it's not, at least we'll check it from here. China Radio to North America. So here's one broadcast. 0 to 0 1. You get China Radio International. And it's from China. As you see, CHN is China. China Radio International. E, English. ENA. This one is a little more precise. Tells you it's for Eastern North America. So it doesn't mean you can't listen to it if you live on the West Coast, but chances are better if you live on the East Coast. But look at the frequencies. Two frequencies you can tune. 6020-9570. And it says slash ALB dash C. Well, that means it's from the Albanian transmitter site, but not anyone. Dash C means it's the CERIC transmitter site in Albania because there's more than one transmitter site in Albania. 
So, you know, it's a little complex to understand, but the basics is you got to understand the target area, try to find things that are for your target area, and understand the language and what station and what time. So, have fun. These are very complete schedules, by the way. This is in any language. So, if you are, uh, you know, I speak French and English, so I can listen to French and English transmissions gives me an advantage on shortwave because I can listen to more broadcasts than other people that speak only English say. Uh, if you speak, you know, maybe you speak Spanish, English, and another language. Well, you, three languages, even better. You listen to even more shortwave broadcasts. So <clears throat> these are great lists to check for, and I hope that you use them to help your shortwave listening. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, please feel free to ask. If you enjoy the videos, want to subscribe, you'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us a thumbs up if you like the videos, helps us on the ratings on YouTube. And hope that you've been tuning around the shortwave bands and having success listening to some of these stations.